Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Making the Hot Tag. And this Yay. is our first after the holidays. Correct. Right? And We're actually in 2021. We are. And lots of things have happened. You may notice this is a different blanket. Um, it's still pink, but it's not like that light, nice pastel pink. Correct. Um, and that is because I gave that blanket away to somebody else. Who? Um, somebody that I think our listeners might want to meet. Do you think they might want to meet her? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And oh, yeah. we also have some New Year's resolutions. I'm not eating as much, so there's no popcorn here. So Correct. in the popcorn spot is going to be our new, um, would you say she's going to be a guest star on today's? Yes. Our very first guest star. Our very first guest star. Okay. So I'd like to introduce you. To the newest member of our family that came over the holidays, and her name is Eleanor. Yay, Yay <laughs> Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Already a star. She's a star. I mean, look at that face. Well, who wouldn't want to make her a rock star, a movie star, an everything star? <laughs> Maybe a wrestling star. Wrestling star. Oh, yeah. The first ever dog champion. Well, if they've seen her with her toys, which they haven't, but if they no. could... They She's, would know. She goes all out. She wrestles with um, a toy that we call Dirty Duck, <laughs> right? Dirty Duck. Oh, she takes Dirty Duck to town. She does. She takes him down. Okay. So um, with all that in mind, as I said, I'm, I'm trying to drink more water and I'm not eating popcorn today. I can't promise you that'll last long, but right well, now. For the moment. For the moment. And Brendan and I are emptying out our holiday stock. So for this episode, we'll be drinking um, the end of my winter warm warmers, winter warmer. Can you say that? Winter warmer. By Harpoon. Cheers. Cheers. Because mm. it's almost done with winter warmer season. Cool. So we're going to drink that for this episode. And then Brendan will have a surprise for next where we're cleaning out his fridge as well. So, um, all right. What are we watching? So uh, this is a continuation of what we started last week, mm -hmm. um, where we're diving into Kevin Steen versus El Generico. Oh, okay. Their so feud. now, so this is what we're 11 in, and I'm starting to now follow people, mm -hmm. right? So yep. we've just, you've eased me into the whole, like, following Process. the story. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So last week was them as a tag team mm -hmm. and at their highest of highs. They won the tag titles, Ring of Honor. Right. Ring uh, of Honor. Yep. So it's there was like a lot Lord of... of the Rings, but <laughs> in underwear. Uh, and there's no Mount Mordor. No. Or Mount Mordor. There's no Mount Doom. Oh. Mordor. You're the one that's supposed to know this stuff. I feel like that's nerdist. I, Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little nervous, Diane. Um, before we press play, which I'm going to do in a second, I also want to give a shout out to my number one fan who sent me my very first <laughs> fan letter ever. I got a fan letter. She did. Yes, I did. And it's from Brendan's mom. So hi, Brendan's mom. <laughs> she, um, even, she even addressed it as Brendan's mom. Yes, I love Brendan's mom. So yeah, if you want to send fan mail to Please. Just Deirdre and not me. Yes, definitely send it to Just Deirdre. You can a, send it to Eleanor. Yeah, Eleanor too. So it's mm -hmm. making the hot tag at gmail.com. So please tell us what you want to see. Tell us what you want us to drink and eat. And, and um, uh, tell us how much you like Deirdre. And Eleanor. And Eleanor. All right. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Play. There we go. I but, can't, yeah, I can't hear it. I'm going to turn that way up. There we go. Okay. There's my boys. Yeah. There's my boys. So this match is... Uh, I can say that now because I have boys. Oh, yeah. I even have a t-shirt. You have a t-shirt. Yeah. Full-fledged. Yes. Uh, so it's the Bucks versus Kevin Steen and El Generico. And you'll see why it's important as the match progresses. I want to draw attention to the fact that um, although Brendan's mom might like me best, Eleanor Nobody. appears... To like or get best. Correct. It's a fair trade. Yeah. All <laughs> no right. Bite. So I'm going to start by commenting on the um, the venue. Venue, as always. I almost said revenue. I <laughs> I've only had a couple of. Oh, Eleanor, did you feel bad? Okay. So yeah. once again, too fancy. Oh, the fancy lights. See. Yeah. So Ring of Honor, they tend to have the fancier stuff, but I had to go with this. The, I get it. The I promotion get it. just it's because it's good to see. Uh, you know, a variety. A variety. So, all right, here comes Mask Man. And Kevin. And Kevin, mm -hmm. which I, I got to say that's my favorite wrestling name ever, <laughs> Kevin. 
Who's your favorite wrestler? Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Like, if I was a female wrestler, I would um, go by the name, like, Janet. Diane. Gi- or Carol. <laughs> right? Donna. Watch the biting. Yeah, no biting, Eleanor. All right. So, streamers. I'm getting used to the streamers. Mm-hmm. And the, the dancing. Everybody's wearing um, pantyhose. Right. But no, no super tight tights. Tidy whities right No, now. no tidy whities but we're all wearing pantyhose. Yes. So. So the long, long pants are pantyhose? Well, when they're that tight, they are. Okay. Get, okay. You're calling those pants. I think that is generous. Brendan and I want to ask you, would you wear those out in public? No. Then they're not pants. So your definition of pants is stuff you wear outside. Yeah. Yeah. And anything that stretchy and close to the body is pantyhose or tights. Tight. Oh, I would go with tights. Maybe leggings. Okay. Dude leggings. Dude leggings. <laughs> All right. That's. I think that's what they are more than pantyhose. Right. Dude leggings. All right. We're we're playing nice. We're we're shaking. Oh, that was a little. Oh, Kevin's had enough. Kevin is right in. Uh, Ke- Kevin. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> He's our buddy. We love Kevin. Kevin is an angry person. Yeah. No. He got booted out. And he's teaming with uh, El Generico, Mr. Dancer, Happy Guy. Yes, who was doing a little dance. I don't know if you guys saw, because we were so busy talking about Eleanor, but he did a little dance first in the ring. That was like his little intro, his little dance. So, by the way, I'm drinking my water with Mio. I'm not, like, lying and drinking (laughs) orange soda. Or Gatorade. Mm -hmm. Eleanor, you should be watching. All right, so they're circling. I've seen nothing yet. This is the longest it's ever taken in anything you've shown me to have contact yet. Usually they haven't even announced the start of the match and somebody's hitting someone. That is true. They're dancing. Oh, and right into the homoerotic right at the beginning. They're just hugging each other. Oh, yeah. Showing appreciation. Uh Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They look like boyfriends wrestling. Like, you know, play wrestling. Like, oh, that, all right, that well, was better. Looks like they're about to the prom pictures. Right, exactly. But it's, it's, this is how traditional matches start. I know, I know I've, I've spoiled. You have, then you haven't shown me any traditional matches. I know, I know I've spoiled you with matches that just, that just have crazy starts. start right at the beginning. Eleanor, Eleanor's feeling aggressive. So for those of you at home, that is the result of watching violence on TV. Is Eleanor gets bitey. A, a puppy right. that's teething just bites. Right. You need to be careful. Stop it. No. Right now his partner. She They're doesn't go oh. flip flops. Yes, now we're into the dance aerobics. And the pose down. Yes. That was a truly like dance aerobics thing. <laughs> that almost looked like ice skating. Um not ice skating, ice dancing. But figure, with, figure skating? Well, ice dancing even. Like not even as cool as figure skating. Like that secondary lower rung Olympic event. I didn't realize that was an Olympic event. Oh yeah, ice dancing. It's different. It doesn't have the same like hard requirements. I shouldn't say that I couldn't ice dance if you paid me a million dollars. <laughs> but I mean comparatively speaking. Have you Ever watched rhythmic gymnastics? That's the one with like the the ribbon and, and, the, mo- yeah. and the skipping. So it's, yeah. yeah, so ice dancing is the rhythmic gymnastics. Okay, and skating. Interesting. Right. And some of this wrestling could be in rhythmic gymnastics as well. I'd love no, to Kevin, see Kevin with a ribbon. Well, Kevin's too busy shoulder. Yeah. The, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. When Kevin's in the ring, there's a little bit more business going on. I, Generico's the party in the front, and Kevin. Kevin's the business in the back. The, the business. Our right, business in the, the front. In the back. Wow! How Re- much beer have you had? Reverse mullet. Yeah, reverse mullet. They are definitely a wrestling mullet. Oh, that's a really good term for a tag team. What? Oh, did you just spit at him? No, he. So the the young buck mm-hmm. that's in the ring he spit out his gum on the ground Kevin picked it up put it in his mouth and then spit it on the ew <laughs> that's just gross no beer for Eleanor that's really gross um okay I had a thought oh I oh right on his head they should not do big moves when I'm having a thought because it's distracting <laughs> oh did he just knock himself out he just hit his head on the Ew! <laughs> okay, 
If you didn't see what that was, Kevin just shot snot rockets. I didn't know that was a wrestling move. It's a taunt. Not so much a move, but a taunt. I would, I'm going to say that is more than a taunt. That is, that is disgusting. It is disgusting, but, you know. And is that, well, you couldn't do that now with COVID. No, definitely not. No, you don't want to snot rocket anyone. Uh, okay, so what I was saying is a good term for a pair where one of them is super serious and one of them is super playful is, you know, a wrestling mullet. Mullet? Okay. Yeah, a wrestling mullet. I like that. Mm-hmm. Should we go with tag mullet or tag team mullet or just wrestling mullet? Um, or they're a mullet team. Mullet team. Okay. Mullet team. Or that. they're a team mullet. That's better. <laughs> team mullet. They should pay us for this. They should. For the the making up of terms. I think we should come up with um, like a term for that snot rocket move, too. That's not snot rocket? Well, it's more, I mean, it's, a snot rocket is something you do like while you, ooh. Oh, you got air. That was fun. Go get him, <laughs> Kevin. Don't snot rocket him now because I lost a little respect when you did that. Why Eleanor, wearing... why are you scratching right front of the microphone? And what I want to know is why is Kevin wearing my mother's bathing suit? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not my mother's bathing suit. It totally is. I haven't seen your mom in a bathing suit, so I can't I really answer It's that. everybody's mom in a bathing right, suit, I, except I, for Brendan's mom. I'm not talking about Brendan's mom. But it's like every mom on the beach in a bathing suit. It's right. that bathing suit. Aren't you a mom? I am not your typical mother. <laughs> I am wearing pig buns. The exception. Yes. Most mothers don't wear pig buns. True. By the way, that's what these are called, in case you were wondering. They're like pigtails, but they're buns. So they're pig buns. I don't know. I didn't. Okay. Now you do. I do know. All right. I'd like to see generic and some pig buns instead of that high pony he's always sporting. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so Blue Pants. What's his name? Um, it's either Nick. Okay, Nick he Johnson? doesn't know his young bucks apart. He's supposedly the expert on wrestling. He doesn't know the difference between his young bucks. <laughs> anyway, Blue Young Oh, they're both blue. All right, blonde. Blonde head, blonde Blondie, hair. Blondie, yeah. Blondie Buck. Blondie Buck has gotten some serious air all through this match. He's going to dislocate his shoulder. That's not safe. Look at those abs, though. I hate Generico's leg shake. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> but he's trying to stretch for the ropes. Oh. oh. That's problematic. Because that means... <laughs> it's going to happen more. It means it's going to happen a lot because... So, for folks at home, my email did not get closed down in the background. So every time I get an email, it's going to chirp. Yeah, that was on, that's on me. Yeah, that's on Brendan. So, well, we'll see if we can make it through. If not, we'll we'll stop. We'll turn it off, and we'll we'll just edit that part. Out. Oh, that's very loving and sweet. Oh, and a kick to the head. Now, this. So far, Brendan mm-hmm. ranks up with like maybe one of the other ones as the fakiest fakie one. This looks really fake to me. Just in terms of. So I mean, I, I obviously I know what fake means. I'm just, no, no, no. I know I you're you're dig. looking for yeah. yeah. Okay. So what I'm seeing is that I can tell when contact isn't being made or I can see the Pratt fall. I can see. So, so as a theater you're... director, when I direct stage combat, I, and maybe it's not fair because I might have a little bit better understanding than some, but maybe not, um, of how you plan a hit or a fall. Right. And some of the time I really can't see it. Like they, they really keep in place sort of the mystery. And in other places, I, um, I'm very aware of the disconnect between the kick and the, you know, contact. Yeah. So you're start you're starting to like from, even from like the first couple of episodes, you were always amazed by the strikes and the kicks. Yeah. I think in some episodes I still am like, I'm like, that has got to hurt even so. 
And then this is maybe one of, I want to say two, it may have been three, where I can really see it. Okay. You know, right. I like it when, oh, so I see it less in Kevin than the other ones. Right. And I think I see it the most in the Young Bucks in general, even though I like them. Well, and I think I'm pretty sure we've talked about this, but it goes back to the people's styles. Mm-hmm. Like the Bucks, their whole thing is, is being high flying speed. Yeah. Yeah, which um, I enjoy, don't get me wrong. And less focus on the striking, but it's still part of how you build a wrestling match, so they have to do it, mm-hmm. but it's not their strength. Whereas Kevin Steen is the opposite. Like he's all strike, all power. Right. right. So he's, and Generico he's, is is just foolish. He's like a clown. That still surprises me. That he's still like surprises clown. me. He's a clown. But that, that's shocking. He's like the rodeo clown of, of it. His, I mean, his personality, yes. No, but look at his tags. They're ridiculous. Over the top. His dancing and his twirling. Okay, just watch him for a minute. Of course I say that. Right yeah, exactly. Right. But even we all so, went quiet for that. But even so, it was like a twirly little flippy thing. That looks a little bit like a strike. But even that, you know? Right. So, just to point out, because it kind of comes into play, uh, Kevin's knee is injured. Oh. Like, was, for real, in real life? I don't I don't remember if it was real life, but I know... Oh, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> so and all of a sudden, the Clorox ad, so... So, when I was recording this, mm-hmm. I didn't know how to handle uh, this part, so I just let it go. So, uh, I'll probably cut it. Real quick, or not, or not. Maybe Clorox will send us free wipes for True. promoting them. True. We do not have a relationship with Clorox as of now. We're open to one though. We are definitely. So, in storyline wise, mm-hmm. Kevin's knee is injured. Um, whether it actually was in real life, I don't know. All right. For those of you wondering where Eleanor went, she's out of camera range, licking her butt at the end of the bed. Correct. Yes. Oh. He's finally... Oof. That's fun. It takes two of them to take down the Kev. <laughs> Kevy. Come on, Kevy. You can do it. Oh, he's having a rough time. I don't like the Young Bucks as much, this one. Oh, they're not flippy flying mm. as mm. much as they are. They're really not. And I'm starting to like root for Kevy. I do not like... El Generico? I don't. El Generico. That, that's... I think that's a really good name for him because he's very generic. He's it's funny It's funny because that, that was sort of the joke, too. Right, is and that so, he wasn't? Right. Well, he is. I'd be interested in the folks from home if, you know, let us know whether you agree or disagree. Another Ooh, email. I'm getting a lot of mail. It's probably fan mail from your mom. True. She's already... <laughs> this is real time, apparently. Fan mail from Brendan's mom. <laughs> Um, I do want to do something with his hair. I find that distracting. I like the ponytail better with like the loose strands coming out as he gets more riled up. But this right. other one, I just, I keep thinking I can't. Ooh, that was fun. See, again, that's like in the world. Oh, no, of, Kevin's oh, doing Kevin things. Oh, oh. That looked brutal. I enjoyed that. I'd like more of that. Oh, oh I guess we're not getting more of that. <laughs> well, there's still plenty of time left. Kick to the face. You know what I keep thinking of? Have you ever seen that skit where they're reading the will and the person leaves everybody in the room a kick to the head, a boot to the head? No. You have to look it up. If you guys haven't seen that, look up boot to the head. There's a bunch of different versions of it, but it's the same wording. Okay. And every time Oof. they mention somebody new, they go, and you get a boot to the head. And I feel like this match has been a lot of that. Oh, everybody's in. I like it when everybody's in. Pig pile. Bye, Kev. <laughs> See, again, the problem with this um, venue is that the people aren't close enough to get the wrestler in their lap. I mean, True. what is the point if you're not going to get the wrestler in your lap? <laughs> oh, that was fun. One draped over the ropes, one rolling off his back. That was fun. Yeah, the, the no ponytail, it looks like he's about to get some glamour shots. Exactly. Or he's like 
Ted Nugent, he's going to rock out, <laughs> right? Like right. the shirtless long hair to me. I don't know. I want to see his expressions. I like when they crawl. Does that make me a bad person? No. No, I, you learn something new every mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Crawl for it, baby. I'm a little disappointed that nobody really did the hot tag, though. They sort of pretended they were going to tag, and then everybody just jumped in. All right, the flying, whatever their names are in the circus. <laughs> Go get them. And you're out of here. Oof. Quite that the, looked fun and painful. Quite the send-off. Mm. I feel like Kev's the only one giving anybody their money's worth. I shouldn't say that. A few of the Young Bucks flips. Why? Uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> that was brutal. But see, look at Generico does nothing. And I want to see his stupid face. I bet it's stupid. I bet he has a stupid face. That's why he wears a mask. I will show you after this. Oh, you know what he looks like? Yeah, he. so he... That's currently, not fun. Currently, he's in the WWE. Um... Does he have a lay on his pants in the gym? No, he, he doesn't wear a mask. Yeah, because they told him to knock that <laughs> shit off. <laughs> but that, okay, that goes to my point. The people who are like super professionals and know what they're doing don't like the same things I don't like. Brendan has something he wants to say about that. He disagrees. It's not so much I disagree. It's, it's, Alan Rose it, checked out. It's more specific to El Generico, but I, I I get what you're saying based on the matches that we've seen. He's he he hasn't he hasn't been showcased as well as everyone else. That that I can totally understand with, but I will go on a limb and say by the end of the this this did he just spit here, again? Yes. All right. So I like Kev, but I want to talk to him about the snotting and the spitting. <laughs> I feel like he shouldn't need that to win. All he has to do is sit on him like he's doing right now. It's like, no, don't. Is, I, wouldn't it be funny if he just sharded on him? <laughs> I, can I say shard? So you you have issues with people blowing snot rockets at each other, but sharding is Well, I didn't say totally... I wanted him to. I was just, did I say I wanted him to or did I just say it would be funny? I don't remember I don't remember I either. I'll have to dial back, but I'm just, like, he's not above spitting and snotting. True. I think the only thing left True. is a good shark. Good shark. Yeah. That'd be the finisher. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, he's got him. Finishing move. Oh, he's been kicked to the head all day long. <laughs> right, that's strong. If you can lift Kevy up. Ooh, that was fun. There's the boys I, 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 really... I like. That's the boys I like. That's their finishing move, well, yeah. one of them. But, yeah. uh... There's my young bucks. It's very flashy and yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, super fun. We see, I didn't even know he had mullet uh, mutton chops, mutton chops. Into, until now. He hid those beautiful, ridiculous, goofy <laughs> mutton chops. Why would you hide those? And now the Bucks thinking about what, what can we do to get the victory? Super Why am I the only one drinking? I've been drinking. You have not been drinking. Let, let's measure. Well, actually, actually, this we're heading towards the end, so. Are they going to make out? Look, oh! Did you see his belly jiggle? That was fun. Alright, so let, let's measure. We're about the same. I accept your apology. I'm not apologizing. I accept it. Mm. You just take bigger sips. But I take, more, <laughs> I take more sips. You take bigger sips. Oh, they love each other. They're brothers. I don't believe that. You don't believe? Are they really? In yes. Life? They're actual real life brothers. Oh, I'm totally talking my sisters into creating a wrestling team. Is there an over 50 wrestling team? Probably. Note to self, look into that. I think you can get away with it. Right. Like where you have bad knees and you <laughs> Well, I mean, the three. Hey, Kev has a bad knee. Very true. So, so the three of you could be the, the triangle, referee triangle. We could. That would be fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that. I'm just figure out how to get them on board. I'm about to work. I can hardly get them to go away for a girls' weekend. I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to be able to talk them into that, but we'll see. 
And I am definitely having something on the seat of my pants. But not a leg. <laughs> Maybe kiss this. Maybe. Booty on a hook. Booty on a hook. And the Mr. Wrestling chat goes up. Alright, so I kinda I should have fast forwarded here. How did I wait? Okay. While I was talking about what I was going to have written on my butt, went from the Young Bucks celebrating to these two back up on their feet, acting like they won. So what did I miss? So, again, this we're, we're reaching the reason why I we're doing this match. But It's for, taken a long time. Well, well, we have to go through Verbo. <laughs> We are filled with technical glitches today. <laughs> so listen, chalk it up to it's the new year, right? At, oh, what is he saying? What is Kev saying? That was short. That was a short commercial. So that's why I said I wanted to fast forward it. because So like I said, he storyline-wise, he has a knee injury. Mm -hmm. I believe the storyline is that this was his last match before going into surgery ah. or taking time off. He's so, suddenly limping for the first time in the entire match, by the way. <laughs> so I think the idea is that he he's not say he's not saying goodbye, just see you later type speech. In my mother's bathing suit. Yes. Kind of thanking everyone and and uh, He needs one of those little skirt things that they wear at the bottom. <laughs> with um, the with those flat suit. Yeah, the little yeah. And a bathing cap. But That's he still should have the scraggly beard too. Right? Oh, for sure. Right. Absolutely. Maybe a bucket oh, hat. So, right there, a, a fan, like, cursed at him and that got him mad. Oh, we don't like him mad, Kevin. No, we don't. So, where are the young bucks? What the freak hat? So, they will, so th this is the main part. So, <sighs> I should have read up on this. I'm a bad host. It's a um, terrible host. We did not prepare well for today. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, really, we were so entranced with Eleanor. I had some plumbing issues this week. So, I mean, I didn't personally. My house did. I, I'm fine. But we did have a leaky pipe under the floor. So, yeah. So basically, Kevin is just, you know, talking about his time and experience. And He's talking honor. forever. And I really, I don't like him that much. I don't, I'm not interested. He's limping more with every step. So it's it's the the adrenaline is wearing off after a fight. That's so, bullshit. Really? Yes, he's faking. Oh no! <laughs> Somebody in wrestling is faking. You I should. just realized as I said that how ridiculous it sounded. You said the f word. I did. Does he have teen written on his back? Steam. Oh, <laughs> I was like, "What is he? A pedophile too? Wow. Like what? I know that's a, that's a leap." <clears throat> Sorry, Kev. But stop limping and talking to the crowd, and I will stop yammering about. Ooh, he's got blood on his lip. That's all the kicks to the head. Yeah, oops, to the head. He took like five at the end there. He did. So the um, yeah. To, uh, to answer your original question, mm -hmm. the young bucks left. They just walked away. Was the uh, match over? Yeah, they won. The Young Bucks won. Oh, all right. So the so the so the ending sequence was so, them doing that tumble, uh, front flip, flip back I, flip. I got thing. Mail. Yeah, you did three yeah. three emails so far. Mm -hmm. So the the se ending sequence was that tumble, back flip, front flip, finishing move. Okay, and then they, they, they would, kicked out. Yeah, and then they would look like they won. So I guess they did win, and then they left. Right. And these guys are. And now Kevin's doing He's his the audience. essentially doing his farewell. Can speech. I just turn it off now? Can we be done? No, because the 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 the, the nugget, as you call it, is coming up. I feel like this should be the end. I'm bored. I'm well, like, bored. So it, I'm it bored. Is, it is. I'm it is bored. my fault. It is bored, my bored, fault. Bored, I should have fast forwarded when I when I put everything together. It, it, can we fast forward now? Um, or is it almost happening? It's almost happening. I mean, just judging by the... What's on the front of his outfit? Uh, it's him doing a moonsault. <laughs> I, I never noticed that. <laughs> I'm like, is that somebody like across the road? Like, what is that? So, you, you know the Olympic event, uh, the high jump? Yes. It's basically like... I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like he's doing the flash. I don't believe flop. that he can do that. No, you're in for a treat. 
Is it coming? Is that the nugget? No, 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 no. I mean, not not this. I mean, not, maybe next match. Maybe. Maybe. Is that a spoiler alert? I was trying not to spoil Shh. it. Spoiler alert. Kevin does a some type of high jump thingy. But I don't believe it until I see it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Eleanor has fallen asleep. I'm almost at the end of my beer, and I'm super bored. I take full responsibility on this. We should, maybe we should do some trivia while we're waiting. So, so the the one thing I wanted to say was, oh, okay. So right now he's he's telling El Generico that he loves him. He's like so a brother. About to make out. Yep. Ooh, are they going to do it right on the map? That's, uh, that's that the nugget. I would pay. <laughs> That's a nugget, all right. I would pay. Oh, lay, right? I would pay money for that. I mean, not to do it. To <laughs> so yeah, and so they've been to a tag team for a long, long time, oh, and they're just they're lame. And Kevin, it's, Kevin is basically saying, "Hey, this might be the last time we're together." But it's not going to be because he's going to get knee surgery and he's going to be fine. He's going to be back better than ever in somebody's bathing suit. Oh, what? What just happened? All right. Why the hell would he do that? Oh, we're now we're having a chair match. What? Okay. Why is he attacking his partner? So what? What? I just wanted to see that chair. <laughs> so basically, Kevin Steen felt that in you'll you'll agree with this in a way, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Kevin Steen feels like El Generico was holding him back. Well, of course he was. He was a... nothing. Right? Who's this dude? That's Colt Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? He looks like the janitor. <laughs> that, that, that shirt does make him look like a janitor. He looks like the custodian has come into the ring. What? Well, you really... You, that he kissed him. Oh my, okay, this is the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. Please explain to me why the custodian came in at the end and what what the hell? First of all, Kevin, I applaud you because he deserves a boot to the head. Because well, it was a kick to the groin. That too, and a chair shot to the back. Yes, because I mean, lame. Now you're just seeing things you want to. <laughs> Whatever, it's just lame. Um, explain the custodian, please. All right, so. Colt Cabana mm -hmm. is considered like Cold Colt Cabana. Sorry, I'm gonna actually play a theme song in between tapings <laughs> because you don't know how spot on you just were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why did he come on? Let's so, finish so up. he's just basically the all around nice guy of Ring of Honor. Like, and he, he just happens to be hanging out during every match, and he just <laughs> yeah, he so he saw El Generico, a good friend of his, get hit in the head by by his former best friend. Okay, so I'm trying to suspend my disbelief, but I'm going to say overall this entire match, I throw the bullshit flag. Wow. Bullshit. Okay, I, t you're not wrong just because the, that, wrong. the last 15 seconds was really all I cared about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, um, let's, you know. And I know you like Young Bucks, so. I do. I do like a Young Buck. I there, do. There you go. Yeah. All right. So, um, cheers to that terrible, terrible match. And we are going to sign off for now. Um, Eleanor is still sleeping, and we will see you next time. Yeah. Also, uh, the what I was been trying to say oh, is. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I got mail. Bye. She got mail. Fan uh, mail. Um, by the time we finish this feud thing, mm -hmm. you'll you'll change your mind about El Generico. We'll see. And I, on that note, bye! <laughs>